everyone, it is weekend vlog number something 12. It's Saturday morning and it's not even Saturday morning, it is noon. I look like I just woke up because I did. It's so nice of you to notice. Um, and I'm going to Starbucks because I don't have any coffee and it is a very sad, unacceptable state to be in and I have to get ready kind of fast because I am hitting the road today and my outfit is hilarious. I wish I could show it to you, but I'm seated in the driver's seat of a car so it's important for me to be in this position right now. I, I got out of lengthy night of sleep, but it felt good. I was sick this week, so maybe I needed it. I don't know. I feel like I say that every weekend. It's like, I slept so much. What happened to me? Maybe because I never sleep during the week. Crazy. I made it, y'all. Vanilla latte, kids temp, so I can chug it in the car. Like, yes, I drank more than half of it just on the ride here, and it was like less than five minutes. Uh, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich, which was too hot to eat, and it's not very attractive looking, not gonna lie. And, whoa, Starbucks haul. Just kidding, that's never gonna happen. Um, I got some more K-Cups because I'm desperate, and I don't care that they're horribly overpriced. All right, and because I have no shame whatsoever, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my outfit that I was talking about. Uh, nasty gal leopard coat, as usual. Um, my beloved Kenzie fleece uh, poncho. Um, my Target joggers, and of course, my Massimo tennis shoes. And um, I'm pretty sure the only thing about this outfit that's saving me from looking like an 80s drifter woman <laughs> are my leftover fancy dancy earrings. Um, I don't know if it's helping or hurting the look, but either way, I need to get ready. All right, guys, so I am finally ready. I'm about to head out the door. I packed everything. I freaked out. I tried to move very quickly, but of course, not quickly enough, but I'm finally ready to go. I'm headed to Austin. Um, I'll tell you more about that later in the car. I'm a little bit dressed up because I'm going somewhere like fancy. I guess. Um, uh, I did my hair like really roughly. I planned on washing it, but of course I didn't. Um, I'm wearing lashes and one of those like foiled eyeshadows by Makeup Geek, my love. Um, I don't think this is my final lip color. It's one of the new matte Wet n Wild colors, but it's just, I don't know, pretty for driving in the car. I'm gonna have to refresh my color anyway. I'm like out of breath. I need to calm down. I think I'm gonna use my current favorite uh, color pop color. You've seen this dress before. It is from Nasty Gal. I don't think they have it anymore. I love my little like dot detail up here, this mesh. And it's long sleeve and it's super, super way too short for me. But don't worry, I am wearing my little Nike shorts underneath. I can't believe I'm showing you that. And then my tights are super cute. My mom got these for me. They are Kenzie, like a little rubberish kind of leather looking racing stripe and do not look at my shoes because I'm about to drive for two and a half hours. I'm not putting on my boots right now, but I'm gonna wear my Lowland Stuart Wiseman boots, but for now I'm just wearing like some old man socks <laughs> and uh, my little fox slippers because I do what I want. I'm on the road. I still have almost two hours to go and I'm actually just gonna meet my parents and my sister at the restaurant because we're going out to eat before we go to, oh sorry, I have my seatbelt askew and I don't want you guys to think that I'm risking my life right now. I'm not, I'm not that dumb. Um, not that dumb. We're going to uh, Bob's Chop House, something like that. I don't know. I've never been there. And then after that, we are going to see Once, which I know nothing about. My sister just kind of randomly texted me during last week and was like, hey, do you want to go see Once? I've seen it a few times and I love it and I want you and mom and dad to come. And so that's what we're doing. I like seeing plays and so I'm sure I will enjoy it. I love seeing plays so I wasn't like, oh, let me look into this to see if I'm going to like it because I'm probably just, I can guess that I am probably going to like it. So I'm excited. Side thing while I'm thinking about it. I am so excited to tell you guys, well, I announced it like on social media and stuff whenever I like finalized my plans. Um, I am, what? Why are people slowing down? I am officially going to BeautyCon in Dallas. What? They asked me to come and I get to do like a meet and greet and I also get to speak on a panel. So I'm super pumped, like speaking, like public speaking makes me really nervous, but when it's something like this, I think 
I don't know. I think it's going to be really fun and I'm super excited to be going. I've never gone to BeautyCon before and I'm really excited that it's in Dallas because I'm not too far from Houston so that makes it easy. I'll link down below the information if you're curious about it because I do not remember all the details off the top of my head but I'm super excited about doing it. Like. Uh, like I said, makes me nervous because I don't know, like, like so many people have always asked me, like, why don't you do meetups? Like, da 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 da. Like, this is that truck is so annoying. Why don't you do meetups? All of that. It's just because it like makes me nervous, honestly. Like, it's not that I'm like overall nervous in all social situations, but like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It just like. I want to meet all of you, don't get me wrong, like I would love to like go through and say hi and hug every single person that has like ever watched one of my videos, but like thinking about a meetup situation scenario thing, like it just kind of overwhelms me. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm, ex I'm really, really excited to be doing this. I think it's, I think I feel like a little bit more comfortable because it's like at an event. So like someone else is kind of like organizing it because I think maybe that's the thing where I'm like, I don't know how I would organize something like that. This is going to be really cool and exciting. And I'm so excited to meet a lot of you guys. I hope that some of you are able to come. So yeah, that's like coming up so I like keep thinking about it all the time like oh what am I gonna wear what am I gonna do who else is gonna be on the panel what youtubers am I gonna meet what am I gonna say what am I gonna do <laughs> no it's not that bad <laughs> anyway I'm ready to listen to music um not gonna lie secret guilty pleasure that has resurfaced in the last week please don't tell anybody slash I'm telling everyone what what am I doing anyway um I've been listening to the first Third Eye Blind album oh my gosh who am I but like for some reason for some reason I just like have this weird thing like it's just like a childhood thing of like I heard this music when I was really little and like I thought it was like cool like that and like a couple of albums from like No Doubt, like those are just like ingrained in me. There's something in my brain that just like, it's like, oh, you love this. <laughs> and it brings back like all these like weird, like I make weird connections to that music that do they don't even have to do with that time period because obviously I was a small child, but I'm probably gonna go listen to music I'm not gonna be proud of. So there's that. Okay, so I just had to stop for gas, of course. Of do you think that I had gas? Yes, of course not. Um, and I just wanted to show you this. I mean, in case you're not from Texas, this is like classic Texas middle of nowhere kind of gas station situation. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so we've got my shell station, but then on the end here, we've got a Pickett's barbecue and grill. Who's Pickett? I don't know. It wasn't on the sign. And then over here, we've got a Texas gift shop because we of course need more of that and the Taco Bell. I went into the Texas gift shop and it was hysterical. We had like all kinds of like crazy bald eagle style dream catchers and stuff. It was, it was amazing. I, sh I should have bought one, not gonna lie. Most of the lights are already off because I was like just about to go wash my face and go to bed. I'm super tired. I had a really good night. Um, Franny, whoops. Miss Franny and I are like totally wiped out and uh, yeah, the play was really good and then we went to have ice cream and oh, and before that dinner was amazing. So it's just been like an action packed night, completely wall to wall crazy and also freezing and rainy which is not my favorite, but I had a really good time. And yeah. We're all in the car and we're going to Gordo's, which I've never been there, but it sounds pretty cool. Everything's donut based. Donut based products. And I'm looking forward to it because I love 
Donuts.